What's up guys, got a new tutorial for you today. Pop up. It's a hot sauce move as far as I know he created. He's, he's the first one that I saw do it. Real cool move uh, to, to basically, when the ball's just sitting on the ground, to kind of start your dribble. Um, let's just get right into it. I'll show you what it's all about. So, this is what the, the, the move's gonna look like. You're gonna start with the ball on the ground, just sitting there, by, or, or you can even start with the ball rolling. But for, for starters, we're just gonna teach you how to do it with the ball just sitting on the ground. Um, all you're gonna do, is you're going to hit the ball, palm first, do not hit fingers first, or you will jam your fingers and it will hurt. <laughs> Make sure you hit the ball with your palm first. This is one of the very few moves where I'm going to teach you where you actually start with hitting the ball with your palm and not your fingertips. 99% of everything you do in freestyle, basketball, etc., you want to do with your fingertips. This move is the exception. Palm first. You're going to hit it just past the, the top center of the ball, just a little bit back from that. So you're not going to hit it quite in the middle on the top, you're going to hit a little bit back from that. You're going to hit down into the ball and at the same time kind of push it forward. Just a little bit, not a whole bunch, just a little bit. And as you're doing that, you're going to come down with the rest of your fingers onto the ball. See that? And you're going to kind of be at simultaneously pushing the ball down to create a little, see that how you can make the ball bounce if you hit it? You create that pressure and since the ball is air in it, it, it springs back and it will make it bounce a little. Okay? Not a lot, it just makes it spring a little. So what you're going to be doing is a little bit of that and rolling it forward into these fingers. And the fingers, and this is going to be kind of similar to what you do with um, the nautic dribbles or with um, your overhand catch where you're, where you're going to kind of use your fingers to lift the ball up. So you're going to be simultaneously hitting the ball down and forward into your fingers and your fingers are going to kind of scoop the ball up a little bit, like that. That's what it's going to look like, okay? So notice, notice how the ball spins back when I do that? That's because you're going to be rolling the ball into your fingers like this and your fingers are going to curl up like that and you're going to be kind of pulling the ball in. And that's what's making the ball spin back, is that the finger's curling. That pulls the ball back and up at the same time. It's kind of like in the nodding dribbles, or the low pass dribbles, where you're curling up to bring the ball up. It's going to be like that. OK, so hit in to the ball just behind the center point of the top, kind of rolling forward at the same time. So down into the ball, directly into the ball, and forward slightly into these fingers coming out of the ball. And real quick, you're gonna kind of lift up with the fingers and pull back and up. So like that. Then once you get that down, you just want to learn how to catch it in the air. Going in and start dribbling, going to a crossover, going to a different move. Or you can catch it in different ways. Okay? I mean, there's all kinds of variations you can do with it. But basically, what it comes down to is mastering this first. Getting it down so you can really get the ball flying high in the air, right off, off, off of nothing. Okay? That's what it comes down to. And there's all kinds of different things you can go with from that. I mean, there's, there's, there's a million one combinations and, and different ways you can catch it, but it all comes back to learning how to do this well, and being able to pop it up high. After a while, you start to get a feel for it, and you learn how to control and be able to pop it up, you know, more to the side, you know, or right to the middle, or, you know, any, you, you, you basically, You'll be able to do anything you want with it once you master straight up and getting it high. And that's really all it is, is uh, once again, just behind the center of the ball, um, on the top, hit palm, roll into the fingers. As it comes down, you're going to kind of roll down a little bit, fingers curl up and back, and that'll make the ball spin back. And there it is, that's your pop-up. 
hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you thought of it. Comment, rate, subscribe. Be sure to check out my website, www.snakebasketball.com. Got a lot of other tutorials on there for tricks, uh, legal game moves, drills, and also a lot of articles on there on how to improve your game, uh, work on your training, motivational type things, all kinds of stuff like that on there to really help you with anything basketball and basketball freestyle and street ball related. Once again, let me know if you have any problems learning this in the comments or maybe post a video response of you doing the move so I can see people that are learning it or see if you're having problems with it. I can try to help give you more you know, detailed information on where you can work and improve on it. Let me know what you, what you thought of this tutorial and also let me know what else you want to see. And I'll try to make more tutorials for you guys. Thanks once again. Comment, rate, subscribe. And check out that website www.snakebasketball.com. Thanks.